Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and welcome back to the Youngins. We are finally back with this gang. I have missed them so so much. This is one of my favorite Let's Plays I have ever done. I am thinking of ending this I guess season is what some people call it I mean I did generation season one then I did season two um so yeah I'm thinking of ending this season I guess quite soon because the adults are getting older but I do want them to get like settled down I want to tie up storylines um you know like the minx one with Nina and Alexi and stuff I do have ideas for that this won't be as posted as often as it is is has been like before I took this like month off from it I basically had to take time off because a lot of the lots were messed up these guys like th their household would not load Lacey and Haley. this isn't actually the start of the part but I wanted to up date you guys on what's been happening because I know loads of you have been missing this let's play you've been asking for it and I wanted to give you guys a rundown so basically you may have seen on Twitter you may have seen on the comment section of some of my videos the Jungen save file has been completely messed up not the file itself but like the actual save in the game like I said this house was completely messed up no one could eat any food Lacey and Haley were both starving constantly um so I had to move this lot I think it was a glitchy lot rather than their apartment because their apartment seems to be running fine now that I've moved lots so they were in Willow Creek I've now moved them to Oasis Springs it's actually dead awkward because they are literally next to Minx's creepy lot um but yeah I changed their lot and it seems to be working sorry I keep getting voice cracks and I feel like a lot of my videos this week are gonna have voice cracks in them because I'm currently pre-recording before I go away. So um, I had Lacey, basically whenever I tried to load their family, it the game just crashed and it was like, there's been a problem starting The Sims 4, please like check your files and start again. You know, the error problem that comes up sometimes. So every single time I tried to load this household, that would happen. I found a way to save that because actually Nina and Chloe were stuck on this lot from the last time so they were actually stuck here and I was like oh damn like how am I gonna get them home so I played their family they were obviously still here which meant that I could reset both Lacey and Haley. I could send the girls home because they needed to go home because they were starving and were almost wetting themselves because they weren't at home basically the lot was glitched and the family was glitched um so I had to sort all of that out manage to do it by by resetting them I think it was a confliction with the mod I have actually taken the mod out as you can see Lacey was still getting the option to take a pregnancy test so I had her take the pregnancy test but it said fail to conceive however Haley is still thinking about like baby blocks and milk and things like that so I don't really know what's going on I mean we tried to have her take a pregnancy test it didn't work but I have got a new mod I'm not going to be testing it in this part hopefully soon though I will be testing that out and it's called genetic transfusion I am hoping it won't mess up this save file again I do want to apologize for not having uploaded youngins in a while but I basically didn't want to upload a half-hearted part because I hate when that happens I hate when I'm not feeling something and I felt like I did need a break from this let's play because there are a lot of parts of this let's play I think dine out is definitely gonna add in something nice to this let's play I feel like yeah dine out is definitely gonna because we can go on double dates and things and I do want them more to be focused on their families and stuff and starting families you know we have Nathan um Chloe is dating someone new maybe they'll have a baby I definitely want Lacey and Haley to have a baby and I feel with genetic transfusion it's a little bit more realistic than obviously two girls having a baby in the more traditional way because you know that doesn't happen in real life because it's not available obviously so um i feel like genetic transfusion is kind of cool it's a very very cool mod like i said i haven't tested it i have seen other people play with it but that's before all the patch updates um so i'm kind of hoping it works i will leave it in the description down below however 
As I always say, do download mods at your own risk. I mean, the last mod that I had, it caused trouble with my game. And also the teaching mod that I've had in this Let's Play also created um, some problems as well. I know I'm speaking a lot, but I definitely wanted to just cover this topic with you explain why I hadn't uploaded. I also wanted to revamp a couple of the towns. Haven't had too much time to do that. I have done like one lot that I want to play with today. We aren't going to be playing with these two. We're going to be playing with um, Nathan because I want to explore Nathan a little bit. So we're going to hang out with Nathan. Well, he'll probably like maybe skive our school. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're going to play with Nathan. But I just wanted to update you guys. And that's pretty much it. That's why I haven't uploaded Jungans in a while. And like I said, I did feel like I needed to take a little break from it anyway because I felt like a lot of the storylines were all getting conflicted. And now I have like, I, I have a set out plan of what I want to happen. So this will be coming probably like once a week whilst I'm away just because I don't have time to record multiple, multiple parts of it. So um, I think like I'm planning every Monday Jungans will be uploaded and then it will hopefully get a bit more frequent after that, like two or three parts a week once I'm back from holidays. But thank you guys so much for watching this bit if you have. If you have just skipped forward, then welcome to the video. I will put in like a little skip forward thing so that you guys who didn't want to listen to all that didn't have to. But thank you guys for tuning in to the Younguns. I hope you are glad it is back. And we're gonna hop into this part as usual and I will see you guys then. Okay guys, so into the actual part of Younguns. Today, we're just gonna hang out with the teen club a little bit. I have decided that I kind of want to test the waters with Yuki. I think she's an adorable sim. I have given her a little bit of a makeover. Um, I didn't spend too long on her, but I do definitely want to um, explore like a more colourful route with her and stuff. She's looking kind of cool. I feel like Nathan would definitely um, like her. You know, he had a did he have a thing with Luna? I think they're just really good friends. Um, they were like they work together. He doesn't work anymore. He um actually left his job because he reached the highest, and you know his social skills like crazy high. Anyway, how much does he look like Jared? I always forget. He has the hair of his mother, but he has everything else of his father. His nose, his jawline, his like big prominent chin, his lips. He has lit. He's literally Jared, but with like a darker tan and red hair <laughs> um that's pretty much nathan but um he's such a cutie i love nathan so what we are going to do is we're gonna invite around teen hangout um we're gonna stay here for now but that's only because i want to go to the teen hangout place rather than go to a cafe um so i'm just gonna get everyone here kai just arrived um hopefully the girls will come uh is okay luna just arrived so hopefully yuki will actually come too where is nina okay she's currently planting this um i want her to water this we still need to make the death flower which we will definitely do so i'm gonna have her water that is yuki here um does she actually come kai's here like i said and yeah here's here we go so this is yuki i gave her um longer hair and made it more of a light blue like a powder blue rather than her like um teal that she had because i feel like she really looks like um what's her name the one out, Parker, out of Get Together. So I kind of went for something a little bit different. Um, she still has her blue hair because that is the Yuki thing. But uh, she's definitely changed up her look a little bit. And I think she is adorable. Look at her. She's a little cutie pie. Um, so we are actually going to head on out to the teen hangout place. That's pretty much all I have plan for this part. I know I talked a lot at the beginning um, and if all of you watched that then this is going to be quite a long part for you. So I was going to start on a Tuesday um, but I just decided that we will start on Monday and he's taking the day off school. He's actually just missing school at the minute which is kind of bad. Naughty Nathan um, but he's going to age up pretty soon anyway. I mean Paxton and Marisol have aged up. Um, 
I kind of want them to start a family, but I think I'll be doing that in season two rather than in this season because this season's more about like Chloe and her gal pals, uh, gal pals, um, just just pals. Um, but yeah, it's more about like them rather than the kids. So I kind of want to focus more on Nathan and Kai and Paxton and that lot when um, we start a season two. But we have a club gathering going on. Um, so what's our thing? Eat, play games, hang by the fire, uh, be nice to everyone. We're not allowed to be mean to anyone and we're not allowed to fight with anyone. Okay, um, I reckon we should go try talking to Yuki. He's actually really good friends with Luna. So are they all going to school? They all seem to be thinking about school. Please don't go. Okay, we're gonna brighten Yuki's day. We're actually in a conversation with her. Kai's just here dancing. Um, I'm gonna put the radio settings. I'm gonna turn this on to pop. Um, I kind of want Luna to leave the conversation just so we can talk to her instead. Um, so let's get to know Yuki a little bit. You know, we're friends with her, but I feel like... Um, we should try and get to know her. Um, we don't know any of her traits, but I feel like they might have a little bit in common. So let's tell her an engaging story and we'll tell a joke about monkeys. And um, what else should we do? Um, not ask about woohoo. Um, let's share our photos with her. She's looking tense, so I kind of want to brighten her day a little bit. Can Luna go inside? Thank you. She must have heard me. See, his charisma skill is already really high. So when he does actually join the secret agent career, I feel like he's going to get pretty high up. Um, he could probably get the connections thing as well, which will leave him higher up. Uh, he wants to introduce himself to one more sim. Oh, they left. Okay, we got to try and get Yuki to say. So we're just going to do everything. We're going to like flatter her. We're going to ask her to hang out with us. Hopefully she will and she won't want to go to school. Because I reckon that's where those two have just gone. Even though club gatherings are meant to override school. Um, oh, it's because we didn't start another gathering? Are you serious? Okay, that makes sense. So, there we go. We started one. Uh, we're going to have a deep conversation with her. And we're going to give her a heartfelt compliment. We should definitely try to get to know her. Do we know any of her traits yet? We unfortunately don't. Um, oh, she's a loner. Okay, so she's not as sociable as us, but that could be kind of cool, you know? They could kind of, like, bounce off each other. She is a geek, which is kind of fun. I mean, Nathan does like his video games and stuff. Um, he is outgoing, uh, and he is socially gifted because he uh, got that from... Um, completing his thing as a kid. Right, we're gonna go play this arcade game with them. Don't play it, we wanna play it. Okay, good. Our gang's like all here. The gang's all here. <laughs> They're all playing video games, which is what I wanted. This is actually originally Deli Gressy's lot, um, but I just edited a little bit. I edited in some get together things like the dance floor and the DJ booth and um, like the game thing obviously which is quite fun there's also like a dartboard upstairs and I changed it to a bar instead of it being generic because I feel like bars just work a little bit better it is called teen hangout but um be obviously because it's a bar now all the adults come as well like they're all probably oh there isn't even a mixologist on that's cool I guess um there's no other bar so oh he's just arrived the mixologist has literally just got here, which is cool, I guess. You can go do your job like you're meant to. So he's gonna go do that, but yeah. We're all just playing a game. How cute would it be if like these two started dating and these two started dating and then we could go on like double dates and stuff with like Kai? I think that would be really adorable. Or maybe even triple dates. I mean, with Paxton and Marisol as well, I feel like that could be a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, everyone's kind of just... We're going to give props to Yuki, you know? She she did good. <laughs> I just feel like theirs is going to be a dead easy... Like, even if it doesn't turn into a relationship, I feel like it's going to be a good friendship. I mean, he's already, like, expressing his admiration for her. He sounds... He finds her pretty cool, you know? She is a pretty cool girl. 
she's a little bit of a geek and stuff, which I think is adorable, you know. He's like, she's like socially awkward geek, and he's more of like an out there bro, but not really. Like, he still has a dead geeky side, like, as you can tell from his room. Teen Hangout is the best. I love what Nathan Forbes is doing with it. See, she loves us. We're gonna tell her a funny story. Um, maybe we should, like, go play chess with her or something. I feel like that could be quite fun. Um, so go play together over there, guys. Hopefully. Oh, no, Kai's playing. No, don't play, Kai. No, I want Yuki to play. Gosh, darn it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go play over here. So we're gonna challenge Yuki Bear. Um, hopefully she will accept our challenge to the table football tournament. Um, I actually want to show you Yuki while she's actually pulling like a normal face. Uh, so this is her. I did put a custom skin on her, which is probably why she looks a little bit different. And I put a bit more makeup on, I think. Look at Nathan's little face. He looks like so like in love with her. Does he not? He's like, I'm so going to take you down, but I also really like you. So maybe I'll lose to make you like feel impressed that you won <laughs> oh man oh good old dates <laughs> being a teenager you gotta love it okay go on youtube i miss being a teenager i feel so old okay here they go let's see who's gonna win these figures still remind me of little minecraft people all the time whenever i play table football in the sims 4 they really really remind me of minecraft characters girl you're meant to be playing, not checking your texts. Okay, she is playing still, which is good. Um, <laughs> I didn't think she was going to. Okay, so Chloe just finished work. What's she working as again? She's a front page writer. So she's a journalist level seven, but she hasn't written any articles recently. Which, that's the only reason she doesn't get promotions is because I don't do her daily task. I kind of just cheat a promotion when I feel like she should get one. It's just because the daily tasks take forever and I'm just like, ugh. And I don't particularly like cheating in The Sims 4, but when it comes to, like, careers and really, really awkward and fiddly daily tasks, I will. I will happily cheat those without a guilty conscience, quite honestly. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, plans for young guns. We're gonna get Nina to finish the Death Flower because I do have a plan for her and Minx and that storyline. So that will be coming within the next few parts. Uh, genetic transfusion, that will be happening. Maybe some double dates between Lacey and Haley, and then um, Jackson and Chloe. You know, Dine Out's coming out, which is gonna be a really big help to this Let's Play because it means we can maybe even own a restaurant. I am gonna be owning a restaurant in Get Together. I am very excited for that. I already have ideas for a restaurant. I feel like maybe Chloe can't now. I mean, it was better when she didn't work. Um, it's the happiest hour for all cheapskate students. He just took a selfie of himself. Did he like almost win? He just like took a selfie like flexing like, yeah, I'm the best. <laughs> These seem to last forever. But yeah, I think Dine Out is definitely going to be a fun time with this Let's Play. Um... Have Kai and Luna gone home? I think they might have. Check this kid. He looks like he's just wearing... Oh, no, he's not. I thought he was just, like, rocking pajamas in the street. I was like, you go, dude. You rock those pajamas in the street. Ooh, Scarlet just arrived. Um, a Scarlet is here. She must have just finished work. It must have been a hard day at work because... She has come to down some alcohol. Bless her. Maybe we should try talking to her. Um, who's winning? This hasn't even ended yet. <laughs> the game is still going at this point in time. I mean, it just hasn't ended whatsoever. Um, Nathan, you really need to use the bathroom. So why don't you go use that after you've finished? These games are so long. Okay, you guys can stop. I mean, I kind of want you guys to have more interactions than just playing, um... Oh, backing down and giving up. Well, that's one way to avoid losing. Still, it doesn't quite feel good to quit a challenge. Okay, I need to check out this new Sims 4 lighting because... I, oh, okay. Now I see. Now I see what's happening here. 
So the lighting has been updated in this new patch and basically it creates some crazy shadows. I feel like it's got a better effect when you have like um, like a beach house or something like that. I feel like, but this is cool. Like you would never see this without that um, lighting being updated. That's insane. There's a lot of detail that has gone into this lighting. Like look at the shutters and stuff. <gasps> this is so cool. The shadows are looking awesome. And my game actually hasn't been pausing as much. I realized before the patch, it paused quite a lot, especially when there was a lot of people on one lot. However, there's loads of people on this lot right now. Oh, he's welcoming her to team hangout. Uh, maybe we'll take a picture with her and maybe it's time to get a little bit flirty. I feel like this has been nice because it's been kind of breaking them in and they've become quite good friends. Um, we're going to straight up ask if she's single. I don't know if she'll like this. Oh. 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 Is she single? <gasps> Yuki is single, but he is feeling embarrassed, which is not a good thing. Oh no, if poor Nathan gets turned down right now, he's gonna feel so... We could, like, reveal our crush. I mean, I feel like he's been crushing on her for a while. Since, um, Chloe joined her gang, I feel like he's kind of been crushing on her a little bit. We're gonna do it. We're gonna straight up reveal our crush for her. <gasps> Go on, Nathan. Take the plunge, my friend. You can do it, Nathan. Oh, oh no. Oh no, she blew him off. Oh, Nathan, my little baby. Don't cry. But then she wants to take a photo with us. Oh, that's so awkward. Oh no. Can we do a smooth recovery? Oh, we can. Okay. We're going to take this picture and then we're going to do a smooth recovery. Thankfully, he isn't socially awkward, so we can do a smooth recovery. And he's like, yeah, boy, I'm back in the game. <laughs> okay, let's just try and hug her. Let's try and do that. And um, this is so awkward. Bless him. I love him so much. We're going to compliment her appearance. Oh, she's having a gossip with us. Oh, no, she's telling us a deep secret. Oh, come on, dude. Yes. Yes. Okay, she accepted that one. Okay, um, let's try and flirt with her. We complimented her appearance, so let's try and uh, flirt with her. She's accepting it. She's accepting it, guys. Oh, my God. Flirt again. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting way too into this. But I'm just proud, like Nathan's never really hit on a girl and she's like lapping it up and oh this is cute. But she's only getting friendly out of it. Why is she not getting romance out of it? Um, try and flirt with her again. Oh, there we go. We've got an avarice exchange. OMG. They have a little bit of romance between them, which is quite cute. Um, we're going to try and blow her a kiss. Look at the bros hugging each other. Alexi and uh, Silas. Good old Silas. Remember when Haley was dating Silas? Good times. And then he hit on her older brother. <laughs> also good times. <laughs> that was literally like one of my most favorite episodes of Youngins. Just like how they went on a date and Haley was not feeling him whatsoever. As you guys know, Haley is bisexual. And uh, she was like, he was like the first proper guy she had dated. And then she kind of had a little bit of a fling with Joey as well. Um, but yeah, she was like flirting with Silas. If you guys have been watching this Let's Play like the whole way through, you will remember this. I freaking love that part. Like he just straight up went and flirted with her older brother and she was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> like I'm all for you being whatever you are, you know, she she's bisexual, so she can't really judge, can she? But um, it just made me laugh how she was like, okay, straight up, you just asked me out on a date and then flirt with my brother in front of my face. Like, I would get creeped out by that. Oh no, it's bear night. Oh jeez, things are gonna get a little beastie. I don't want them to get beastly. No, I don't want bear night. I hate bear night. I feel like it's so awkward. Just when like a load of bears turn up in The Sims. 
<laughs> oh no, it's so awkward. You really need to eat as well, Nathan. I think I'm just gonna end this part here though, guys. It has been like a little bit of getting back into it and just um, having a catch up, really. That's what we've been doing this part. I mean, Nathan maybe is gonna take Yuki out on a real date in the next part. Maybe that could be what happens next. I do want to start the genetic transfusion as well. So we'll probably be playing with Haley and Lacey in the next part maybe um she also needs to age up and i want to have like a little sleepover i want to invite nina and chloe over so that they can watch like films and have a popcorn night and get all cutesy like that so thank you guys so much for watching this part if you liked it please do give it a big thumbs up like i said it was just warming you guys back into this let's play because i know it's been um a while since it's been up and i do apologize but i have had time to sort things out and i hope you guys understand why that was and i hope you guys i did this justice and you guys enjoyed it like i said i do have storylines that i want to go down i probably won't be updating as frequently as i'd like to within the next few weeks but that's just because of my holiday and after that i'm gonna be back to recording like two videos a day maybe so thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys so much for your patience on this let's play i love you all so much and i will speak to you all in the next part bye guys